The clinical trials and research projects we conduct here at Sheffield Children's Hospital are an important step in discovering new and improved treatments for our patients. Through clinical research, we can learn how to improve NHS healthcare for the future. It is for everyone. We simply couldn't conduct our research without the help of our patients and their families. Behind every new treatment or medicine are the hundreds and sometimes thousands of children and adults who agree to participate in research worldwide. In our hospital in the last year alone, 1,082 children took part in 155 studies. Without their contribution, research simply wouldn't be possible. This is for shaping. Research is not just about new discoveries. It is also about improving on the healthcare we already provide to children and about making sure that the treatments we are offering are safe and effective. At Sheffield Children's Hospital, we strive to be an international lead in paediatric research to ensure the best healthcare in the world for the children we treat. A is for effective treatments. So research isn't just about new discoveries, it's about making the treatments that we provide for children and the medical care that we provide for children safe and effective. And much of the research that we do actually looks into that. It's always really nice to get the new discovery in medicine, but it's really important that we make sure that the treatment we deliver is safe, effective and gets the right results for the children that we look after. A is for activity. To help support the research within this hospital, particularly in the areas of medicines for children, we get support and collaboratively work with the Medicines for Children Research Network. In, and I work as the Deputy Director for the Medicines for Children Research Network in the East of England to help promote children's medicines research within this trust and in fact within this region. In addition to that, we also work with Devices for Dignity, who are an organisation that help us with developing assistive technologies for children with disabilities. Finally, we also get support from the South Yorkshire Comprehensive Local Research Network who help with supporting our research and providing the funding that helps the research happen within Sheffield Children's Hospital. R for researchers. As a researcher, we're always endlessly grateful for families participating and uh, always um, surprised and really grateful how many families go out of their way to, to help uh, us as researchers. I think they understand that this is how we're going to make things better, not necessarily for their child, but for the future, and people are extraordinarily altruistic and prepared to go to great lengths. The only way we're going to make things better is by doing research. Seize for charity! Um, in the past six years, the charity has funded £1.5 million pounds worth of catalyst research for the hospital. The money is always used for projects that wouldn't necessarily get massive bits of national funding. So what we do is work with the research team to fund projects that have got a really good uh, thesis, so a really good idea, um, but wouldn't, wouldn't get national funding. So what we do is help them fund the first bit of their study so they can prove what they were talking about and then ask a national funder for more money to do a bigger study. That's usually what happens. So we call it catalyst funding. If you would like to find out more about taking part in research at Sheffield Children's Hospital, you can talk to your doctor about what studies may be open to you. You can contact the research team here at Sheffield Children's Hospital and there are many useful websites to visit on the internet. <laughs> <laughs>